Hi everyone, I'm Alex with Wide Awake Travels um, and I have been converting a retired school bus into an off-grid four-season RV and now I'm at a point where I'm doing plumbing, water tanks, filter system so I was researching online what filter system to put in our schoolie uh, and I saw that a lot of people use uh, filters by this company called Clear Source and they have some filters that are portable that have uh, hose connections uh, that you can take outside and then some of them that are permanently mounted inside your RV or van conversion or schoolie. The way I'm designing my system I don't need a portable filter I need a permanent filter mounted inside that will be used for filtering both the city water as well as when filling up the fresh water tank and I'm gonna have separate videos for for the whole building of that of that system. Now, when I looked at the price tag of clear source filters, they are three stage filter, which has five micron filter, 0.5, and the virus filter. That costs about five hundred dollars. So I was thinking, all right, is there a way for me to build an equivalent filter from scratch and save some money? So I did some research online, I was reading up on Reddit and uh, somebody said, oh, clear, the, the housings, the filter housings ClearSource uses are just rebranded Pentec housings. And so I went on Pentec's, Pentair website and looked at their Pentec filters and they have the two types of slimline filters one slimline filter filter housing one slimline filter housing has a built-in brackets mounting brackets the other slimline ones do not they just have the the top piece has like four holes screw holes and you have to build your own bracket so when I compare that second one I look at the picture of that one and look at the picture of clear source filters, filter housings, to me they look exactly the same. So I don't know for sure if ClearSource really rebrands these, but they look the same to me. So I have chosen to purchase the ones with a built-in bracket so I don't have to make my own bracket. Or maybe ClearSource sells the metal bracket, the nice metal bracket they have that you can purchase separately. Um, but I decided to buy the one with the built-in brackets. Um, and I bought three of those filter housings because I'm building a three-stage filter. Then I was looking into filters. You know, can I figure out is clear source rebranding filters too or what's going on there? So I also saw on Reddit that somebody said for the third filter, what clear source calls virus filter, that's just a rebranded filter. That person on Reddit said that it was a rebranded Argonide Nano Ceram filter. That's what they claim. And again, I'm not sh don't know 100% if that is true, but I found the Nano uh, the uh, Argonide Nano Ceram filter, and I looked at it, and it looks to be the same as the virus filter Clear Source uh, sells. And you can look at the spec sheet as well. Then I also saw that. They also, besides the NanoCeram filter, Argonite has NanoCeram PAC, I believe. And that PAC version of the NanoCeram filter actually is better than the NanoCeram without the PAC. It filters out more microorganisms. So then I'm thinking, okay, I can buy the Pentec housings. I can buy the first two filters from ClearSource, the 5 micron and 0.5 micron, because I couldn't figure out if those are rebranded from somebody else. And then I can buy the third filter, NanoCeram PAC one, which should be then better than the virus filter ClearSource cells. It should filter out more microorganisms. And then the only other thing that I need is the fittings to connect the uh, housings to each other and then at the end to have a PEX coming out so I can, you know PEX fitting so I can connect my plumbing to it or you can have one that has a hose connection you know 
So it came out when adding everything together, all those cost of all those things, it's about two hundred thirty-five dollars for all the parts. And ClearSource sells theirs for five hundred dollars. So I'm saving a lot of money, and it looks like I'm building a filter system that will filter out more things than the clear source. That's what appears to me. Yes, it doesn't have the nice metal bracket, but if you want, you can probably buy the metal bracket from clear source and buy all the other stuff uh, except the, buy the filter two first two filters from clear source and the metal bracket and everything else buy like I bought and then build your system still going to be cheaper probably. Or because I have I bought the version of the slimline version of the housing that has a built-in bracket, I'm just going to screw that into plywood. If you want to make it portable, you can build a lot of plywood or 2x4s or even metal. You can build a frame and, and screw it in there or buy the other one that screws it from the top, the other slimline housing. In any case, it seems to me like I can build a system that's much cheaper and that does the same or better, that performs the same or better than the clear source filter. And I'll show you now how I'm putting everything together. Here is the filter housing that I bought. This one is Pantair Pantec 158648-3G Slimline Filter Housing, one half inch MPT. So this is the one that has a bracket that's already included. I will in the description of this video put the link to this one as well as the other one without the bracket that just has mounting screw holes at the top, which is, which is the other one seems like to be the one that clear source uses if that's you know really even true so I bought three of these and I need to connect them to each other now clear source uses stainless steel fittings to connect them and coming out here for packs I just went with brass it's gonna work just fine if you want to do stainless steel you can do it I just didn't want to wait for the the fittings to come where I can just go and pick these up local a local hardware store where the stainless steel ones I would have to order online so that's fine so here's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be first connecting the PEX inlet on the one on the very left it has a flow you know it shows you it should be going from this way from this way to this way so I have this half inch PEX to half inch male MPT brass adapter and I'm looking at the threads like this head on I'm gonna put the this Teflon tape plumber's tape I'm gonna put it clockwise because there is the right way to do it And now I have the great white pipe joint compound with PTFE. I'm gonna put some of that as well. Now I'm going to come on the left on the left side of the filter. That's my inlet. I'm going to put that on. Get my oversized wrench. going to repeat the same thing for the last filter housing but I'm gonna put it on the out side see so you got an inlet outlet I have finished that step now all that's left is these two they are half inch to half inch male nipples also brass again you can use stainless steel if you want I need to put them between 
the filter housing like here. Now, now the key is connecting this one to that one. I have to rotate this whole thing. Yeah. I'm applying it clockwise like this when I look at it so it doesn't unthread, remove the, remove the tape. Okay. Now we can come over here. Okay, I really need a thinner wrench here. So I can't find uh, my wrenches, uh, so I can put it in here to tighten, but that's fine. Um, this should be good. If not, once I find the wrench, I'll tighten it. Um, the point is, you just gotta tighten it. You could also use pecs, two of these, and then have a bigger gap between them and just put up a, a short pex pipe a uh, hose be uh, pipe between them um, and then we just have to repeat the same thing for this one over here I just realized I can make this a lot easier if I remove the lid and just do this should have done that with this one too and over here I have three filters now the two from clear source, the first two, first stage 5 micron, second is 0 0.5, and then the third one is the one that I think is the upgraded one. It's Nano Ceram PAC 2.5 10 space AG Argonite Corporation. That's, that's a microorganism filter, the third stage. So I'm going to put in the five micron first I have to buy the little wrench as well I'll put out a link in the description And now I'm gonna find, put the 0 0.5 micron filter from clear source. There's an O-ring here, so it can fall out. Make sure it doesn't fall out for you. And the third one is the microorganism filter, Nanoceram PAC. There it is. This is my uh, DIY alternative to clear source three stage filter. I can use these mounting holes to screw that into plywood in my schoolie and then pecs on each side. My water filter system is gonna go over here and I first want to put this shower pan liner so if there's any leaks the water gets diverted to the bottom over here where I'm gonna have a drain going through the bottom of the bus. So it can drain outside and protect my bus. So I just got this um, shower pen liner from like Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to screw it in here. Here it is, I cut a few spots here so I can tuck it behind because I have my plumbing that needs to go to the filter. And uh, later on I'm going to add more screws when I'm ready. When I'm done with the plumbing I'm going to screw this into the side here. Uh, I just want to run my plumbing first and maybe add a few more pieces of this liner so I can direct all the water down there where I'm going to have a drain under the bus. Um, 
So this is just so I can put the water filters there. There it is. What I'm doing here is I'm putting the plumbing for the uh, outlet out of the filter. And I got my crimp ring. It has to be one eighth to one quarter of an inch away from the edge of the pex. Alright. Now I have my go no go gauge. No go on half inch shouldn't go all the way. And go should. That's good. So that's the line that's coming out of the filter system and over here I need to tee it off to connect it over here to the inlet of the water heater and the other one needs to be connected to the cold water supply for the whole bus.